are back. Back to building the igloo. Day two, conditions are different. Um, it did not get as cold as we were hoping for last night, so we're definitely going to have to change our building mindset. But we're going to get back to sawing, building blocks, see how tall we can get it, and then figure out some way to build a shelter on the top. That way we can ice fish out of it tomorrow, or even maybe sleep out of it tonight. So, let's do it. Good way to get a hernia. Hey guys, welcome to my home. This is my igloo. Unfortunately, we still don't have a roof on her yet. It's pretty tall. So uh, I'd say about like four feet tall. And that's the inside. You got two holes in there. And that's our entrance. We're gonna make one more piece over there to really cover it up, but what do you think? It's very satisfying. I'm still in ASMR mode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just chilling. I just thinking in my head how satisfying it probably would be to watch us make it without struggling <laughs> without us without actually making it without well no yeah i mean without making it but watching it and hearing the sounds is going to feel really cool to other people yeah even though it was like a ton of work yeah right yeah. but it's satisfying to watch asmr for that reason because you don't actually think about the work that the people are doing it's just like it's very soothing to take yourself out of the situation but you put yourself in the situation is grueling and painful there you go last piece Ready? Yep. Alright, now take the screw out. The walls, the doorway, everything is complete. The next step is a brainstorm session about the roof. Pretty satisfying. All right, guys, we are getting the wood and we are putting it, uh, we put the wood beams across the top. That's kind of been the plan and now we're putting the ice blocks on top. Stay tuned for some more of this. This is gonna be sick. Getting closer. I think Zach's gonna sleep in it. Still? Oh, I'm sleeping in it. 100%? After all this work, you better believe it. <laughs> Zach's gonna sleep in it for our last night on the ice. Um, this has been a two day project so far and it's, it actually looks pretty legit. They came up with the wood support beams, which is the only reason why this thing is possible right now. Well, we just cleaned this off for yesterday's thumbnail video of the world's largest ice fishing hole. We did catch a rock bass out of it, so. We caught a rock bass out of here. The, the, the possibilities are endless. They are. We still can catch so many fish out of it. I feel like you can catch a whale out of it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, the blocks are on the top there. Zach is going to sleep in this thing. It's just, it's so cold right now. I'm going to get my stuff together. It's going to be 10 degrees tonight. I'm staying in the hot tent. This trip has been so great so far. We slept in a cave, caught some fish, slept in a hot tent, fished out of the world's largest hole, built an igloo, completely out of ice blocks, Unreal. The only complaint could be the fishing, but I'm always complaining about the fishing. And honestly, it's not been that bad. We've got some world-class perch, some world-class crappies, and uh, yeah, just the lake trout have been mysterious. So we're gonna see what tomorrow brings. Since this took us two full days, we weren't able to adventure off. So tomorrow might be the only day we get to adventure off this lake and try and fish for some pike. Is really all our other options are. So oh, no way. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Are you serious? What is it? Rock A rock bass. bass. <laughs> I heard it go off in the shot. You dang rock bass. Rock bass hour on this lake, every night, same time, same place. <laughs> That's what we're eating for dinner. You, you wanna keep them? No, but I already got some made. Do you want to keep this one too or no? Do you want to play them? No. Because I've already filleted them. I don't want to play this one. I got perch and I got rock bass. Okay. That's it. Do we need another one? Do you want to fillet it? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> then we don't need another one. I have about a handful of meat yeah. for dinner tonight. That, that's enough. That's enough. We don't want to waste this guy. They're Back. delicious. They're delicious. And just like that, the only fit was that the oh! Those are my only fish of the day. <laughs> was that the only oh no, you caught one this morning. I didn't get skunked. Couldn't plan that any better. Are you oh. filming now? How Mother. mad? How mad are you? Right pissed. <laughs> pissed because it's um, it's it's it worked fine, like the last time I used it, which was like a couple weeks ago, and now it's just spitting. Now it's like snowing really hard too, and getting really cold and just awfulness. All right, so you're gonna be that man back there. I'm gonna um, catch you guys when it gets warmer and bye. All right, guys. Good night. Day four, this is our last night. This is by far the worst weather night we've had. It's windy. I am so glad I am in this tent. It's actually nice in here. It's not terrible at all. The igloo, we'll check it out more tomorrow. Kind of go over the whole deal. As well as... Wow, that bacon just is in my stomach. Just like a hump of coal. <laughs> I mean like... A hump of coal. Eight pounds of bacon this trip. They just feel so good. Good night, folks. Love you. Peace. See you tomorrow. Hello, guys. We, uh, good morning. Day five. Wow. Can't believe I made it this long on the ice. Legit have not left just to get firewood up there. Other than that, I have slept on the ice in the cave two nights and in the hot tent two nights. All I could say is I hope I really, I know, I, I'm going to appreciate my bed so much when I get home. I'm, I'm ready to go. It's been a fun trip. It's been super awesome hanging with Chris and hanging with Zach and meeting these guys and seeing a different side of, not even YouTube, but a different side of like, you, like life, survival, ice camping, like legit stuff. So anyways, yeah, I'm going to pack up my stuff here, get out of this tent and I'm not really sure if we're going to fish today. Last night was the first night I was really, really cold, like actually cold. The whole trip, it's been 25 maybe low 20s at night in like 32 34 during the day last night it was like 10 5 degrees blowing 20 miles an hour now we're outside it's like 15 maybe 10 it's super cold today so for our last day the weather is just oh just it's hard to do anything when it's cold but i'm gonna pack all this stuff up get out of here and just see what the day brings see if zach zach slept in the igloo last night Zach is out there in the igloo. We're gonna go check him out, see how he how his night stay was in there. It wasn't big enough for two people. Um, I'm kind of happy that it wasn't because I would have been the second person staying in there. So let's go see how his night was. <laughs> Did you get that? Did you get it? All right. Yeah. It's <laughs> so <laughs> no. <laughs> How wet are you right now? So wet. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you weren't gonna do that. Did it get in your boots? Yeah. I'm just soaking. My you, whole. You my need to go hole. back? <laughs> you didn't do that on purpose, did you? No. Well, it didn't look like that was the edge. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> How do you feel now? So cold. Oh my gosh, I'm so cold. Yeah, it worked. It's <laughs> frozen solid already. Wait, where your shirt's frozen solid. Did you get me falling in? I got you. I think so. I need that. I'm going to give it to you. Oh, wow. That's cool. This bag? Yeah. That bag. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. I got to go up to the car now. My feet are so cold. I'm sorry I have to interrupt this when I'm not on the ice because I need to bring a little bit of context. I just hit the water. I have no clue what is going on in my body right now. And it took a couple minutes for it to really kick in. Like I was, I just plummeted into freezing water and it is five degrees outside. As soon as my body got wet, I went into shock 
and I ended up having to go up to the neighbor's house that let us come on our land. There was some comments like, because I said it was a remote area. It was remote cabins, like just summer homes for people, but there was a neighbor who let us come down on their land. And since I was freezing, I had to go up there and I went up there. They dried my clothes off for me, luckily, and I kind of failed the survival mission at the end there. As you guys know, it wasn't um, exactly a survival mission. It was more of a survival. Uh, it wasn't a survival situation, but it was a survival situation. Thanks for that one, Alex. No, it was more of a winter camping series, and it was super fun. I enjoyed these guys so much. I'm gonna let the rest of the video play out. I'll be back. Sure. What a disaster of a morning. Luckily, the neighbor let me dry off my my stuff on the inside. It's blowing 30 miles an hour now. It's just miserable out here. We're packing up. Nothing much really to show. That was an interesting morning, but we're cleaning up shop. We're kind of gonna probably call it for the evening, uh, for the day, I mean. Today was honestly the day we wanted to leave, was Friday Friday sometime, and it's about noon now by the time we've got everything cleaned up, dried off, just, it's been a heck of a morning. But this is our bushcraft shelter we built on day one. We are gonna clean it up right now, and uh, yeah, kind of get it all cleaned up our mess. We're leaving nothing on the ice. Key, leave nothing behind. Also, make sure to mark your no. holes. We did drill this huge hole here to build the igloo that I'm about to show you. Make sure you mark it so that way nobody goes in. Obviously there's no trucks on this lake, but you wouldn't want a snowmobiler or somebody like that going in your hole. Oh. This is the final igloo. This is where Zach slept last night. So yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty spacious in here. Um, if we had more time, as in if we had like a full week to work on this, this was already three days of work. We've got the support beams on top that are by wood, and then ice beam, ice blocks across. We have our fishing holes, which you guys did see me fish out of one of the mornings that I didn't catch anything out of here. This is in 50 feet of water. Um, but that's besides the point. This is a homemade ice fishing shelter, which is pretty cool, made out of ice. So an ice fishing shelter made out of ice. But holy cow, this trip has been unreal. We're kind of wrapping it up today on the last day. It's going to be nice to get out of here, get a nice warm meal, get out of these clothes, get out of my sim suit, and just uh, get on with my life here. <laughs> I feel like I've been, it's been a good, it's been a good last couple days, but I'm, I'm ready to get off the ice. I don't belong on the ice. If, unless you've done this, you have no idea how I'm feeling right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this whole series. I know it didn't really end on a bang. Um, well, it, I guess it did because I banged myself into the water. <sighs> but that was it. After that, I flew back here to Dallas and I've been here. I wasn't here, I went to Mexico with the Guggen Squad. If you guys haven't checked out, the first video from Mexico dropped. Went to Mexico, now I'm back here in Dallas working out of the office. It's been good, things are good, life's good. I really appreciate all the support. I also got to go to the Bassmaster Classic this weekend and saw a bunch of you guys. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, and hopefully you guys have checked out Chris, the Wooded Beardsman, who has an amazing channel that is exploding. I will leave it below. As well as Zach from Followers, Makery, and Mischief. Um, awesome dudes, I had such a blast with them. So cool seeing that side of YouTube and just making a four part series for you guys. I filmed this, I edited this, I found all the music, I did all everything for this. This is all my personal work, and I really did enjoy making it for you guys. So thanks again. Hopefully you guys are enjoying 2020 AP Bassin, and I've got two videos I filmed um, that I'm getting to edit right now. So there's going to be content this week, and I'm going out with Rackley tomorrow fishing. So things are good, life's good, and thanks again for watching the Winter Camping Series in Vermont. <laughs>